who is joining us to help honor Sandra Robinson, this year's Champion of Justice Award honoree. Thank you, Erin. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to be with you all tonight. It is my distinct honor to have the privilege to introduce my friend and my law partner, Sandra H. Robinson, the 2020 Champion of Justice. To the Selection Committee for Public Justice, I must say that as usual, you've done good. Sandra is the right person to receive this award at the right time in our country's history. Since May 25th of 2020, we have seen ordinary citizens take to the streets in support of civil rights and social change. Such activism describes Sandra Robinson's life before and after she has embarked on the legal career for which she is being honored tonight. Sandra's life works have been wholly dedicated to improving justice for all. Sandra exemplifies that which is right and that which is good about trial lawyers and the work that we do. She is mild-mannered, polite, and soft-spoken. But as we say in the South, don't let the smooth taste fool you. Sandra Robinson is a fierce, advocate. She is consistently recognized as one of the best lawyers in America, super lawyers, top lawyers, Washington Magazine, you name it, lawyer. Sandra is well recognized for her advocacy skills. She has been dubbed the queen of malpractice by Washington, D.C. super lawyers. She is a leader and a trailblazer. She made history in 1997 when she became the first woman president of the Trial Lawyers Association of Metropolitan Washington, D.C. Ten years later, she made history again in this very organization, which honors her tonight, when in 2007 she served as this, honor, as this organization's first African-American president. Sandra Robinson has received numerous awards too many awards, but some include the AAJ Women's Caucus Award and awards from the National Bar Association, the American Bar Association, and many others. Sandra Robinson is an extraordinary leader within the legal community and a trailblazer who has spent much of her career advancing and advocating for opportunities, equity, and equality in the legal profession, especially for women and people of color. She is a tireless advocate, both out front and behind the scenes. She not only walks the walk and talks the talk, she does both. Whether it be traveling from DC to Virginia to Iowa and elsewhere for election protection to taking water to those protesting the Black Lives Movement here in Washington, DC, Sandra is always ready to fight the good fight and get into the good trouble of which John Lewis spoke. Her commitment to equality, civil rights, and social justice under law is unquestioned, and her dedication to ensuring that our legal lives live up to the promise, and it's, it serves as an inspiration to us all. Sandra is truly, truly a champion of justice. And please welcome me. Please welcome Sandra Robinson and join me in congratulating Sandra Robinson as the 2020 Champion of Justice. You're on, Sandra. I'm here. Hi. I'm sorry. Thank you, Karen. I, I, as Aaron says, I've got to got to learn about this uh, videotaping and zooming. But thank you, Karen, for those beautiful words. You're a dear friend, and I want to thank Public Justice. This is the Champion of Justice Award. I want to thank you, Public Justice, for honoring 
me with this award. I'm so proud to be receiving it from you. Uh, you are an organization that's been very dear to my heart. When I started to work for Jack Olander, there were two organizations I was required to join. One was AAJ and the other was Public Justice. I've been a member of Public Justice for over 25 years and it has brought me great pride and satisfaction to be counted among you. Thank you to my family and my friends who have, have helped me along my journey, both personally and professionally. And I am especially grateful for my pod in this time of COVID, my daughter Mary, my grandchildren Thais, Tyree, and Taya. They have kept me sane and happy during this, this stressful time. In my view, we can be and we all are champions of justice. Like the brilliant attorneys and staff who work for public justice, and the equally brilliant and dedicated officers and board members of public justice, all who work with great determination to get results to correct outrageous harms. Like the attorneys and law firms being honored tonight as candidates for trial lawyer of the year, who have successfully litigated cases that have protected individuals suffering such egregious wrongs. Like individuals such as Joan Claybrook, who has slayed many a dragon corporation, left them in the dust, and moved on to slay more. Like the hundreds and thousands of young people who are demonstrating in the streets today, carrying on the fight for civil rights and civil liberties. Like my firm, through its successful prosecution of civil rights and police misconduct cases, living true to Johnny Cochran's legacy and adage, that we've got to be judged by how we do in times of crisis. Like many of us who are willing to step out of our comfort zone and not remain silent, to say something, to do something, to shed light on an injustice and to take action to make it right. And finally, in this time in our country, as champions of justice, we must follow the words of one of the greatest champions of justice, Congressman John Lewis. And as he instructed us, be bold, be courageous, vote like you never voted before. Together, we can redeem the soul of America. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Everybody stay safe and stay healthy.